Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to create a free panel portrait image for Instagram. This free in one portrait image technique has become very popular lately within the filmmaking community. It enables you to maximize your screen real estate on the Instagram feed and it's a brilliant way to showcase behind the scenes images, before and after color grades, as well as still frames from your finished projects. Let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you how I do it. This is by no means a new technique and is actually something that I used to use the Instagram layout app to do. Now though, as you can access to create a studio and upload to Instagram directly from your computer, it now makes your workflow a lot easier without having to use your phone. Okay, so first up, you will need to open up Photoshop and create a new document. Set the width to 1080 and the height to 1350. This is the maximum portrait size for Instagram at the moment. By creating it exactly this size, it saves Instagram the trouble of having to heavily compress my images and you end up with better and sharper results. The next step is to set up your guides. Select view and find new guide layout. Make sure columns and margins are unselected as we just need rows. I personally prefer the free panel layout. However, you can use as many as you need. So now that we have our guides set up, it's time to bring in the images we want to use. You can either just drag and drop them in or you can use the script to import the files into a stack. Once you have your images imported, you can arrange them how you like. Now we're going to use masks to hide the sections of the images we don't need. I do it this way as it's a non-destructive workflow and it will allow me to recover the full image and rearrange them again if needed. You can do this by simply deleting the layer mask. Remember to Alt or Option click to invert the mask. Once you have masked out what you need and you have the image set up how you like, it's time to export. As this image is for the web and social media, I use the Save Web Legacy function. This can be found under File, Export, Save for Web. In the export dialog box, make sure JPEG maximum or 100% quality is selected. As I mentioned earlier, this is the exact size needed for Instagram and so there will be minimum compression needed. Make sure convert to sRGB is selected. Under image size at the end, I use by cubic sharper as I'm resizing much larger images to a fairly small file. I found by selecting this option, it helps to retain a nice sharp image at this size. All you have to do from here is select save and decide where you want it to go. To upload directly to Instagram from your computer, you'll have to log into Facebook and find the Creator Studio. From here, select the Instagram tab and find the profile you want to upload to. Select Create a new post on the left hand side. You can add all the details you normally would be able to, including hashtags, location and description. Make sure you go into the Edit Photo section and select Portrait. Now when you're ready, all you need to do is select Publish. If you want to see more videos on cinematography and filmmaking in general, you can subscribe below. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you next time.